Let's preview tonight's Spurs Kings game and get a visit from Dr. Ryan McCorkle. You are locked on Spurs, your daily San Antonio Spurs podcast. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Hey, this is Hot Rod. And I'm RC from the Cybertron Spurs. And you're listening to Locked On Spurs with, with Jeff, Jeff Garcia. Garcia. Welcome back to Locked On Spurs right here on the Locked On NBA Network. I'm your host, Jeff Garcia, Spurs writer for Ken's 5 San Antonio. Glad to have you back. TGIF, everybody. Hope everybody's having a great end of their work week and uh, getting ready for that weekend. Hey, thanks for making Locked On Spurs your first listen each and every day. You guys are the everydayers. You can find us on YouTube, Spotify, iTunes, Ken's 5 Plus app. The list goes on and on. Wherever you find your favorite podcast, we are there. So what are we talking about today? We're going to be looking at tonight's game, Spurs Kings. Can the Spurs snap their six-game losing streak? And then later on the show, we're going to have a visit from Dr. Ryan McCorkle. He is back at another house call here on Lockdown Spurs. He's going to go over a lot of the little bit of a recent injury bug rash the Spurs had from Trey Jones to Devin Vassell, Sohan, and Kelton Johnson. He's going to tell us what exactly happened to them and more and he'll calm everybody down in case you're thinking these are bigger issues so that's coming up next on locked on spurs but hey spurs and kings tonight at the i was about to say the at t center at the frost center spurs have their hands full tonight and as mentioned they're on a six game losing skid so let's dive into it the spurs come into tonight's game three and eight not a good record kings six and four coming off a win versus the lakers and uh, let's do a little bit of a game rewind here. The last time the Spurs played was against Oklahoma City. Maybe you don't want to rewind. Maybe you want to forget about that game. Uh, Spurs 123-87. That's so much they got stomped on. It was not even a contest. I, I promise you, I went from halftime, not watching the halftime, to coming back and seeing that they were getting down by 40. So hopefully that doesn't happen again tonight out in San Antonio. In that game, Wimbayama had 8 points, 14 rebounds. Devin Vassell had 12 points. Zach Collins, 13 points and 8 rebounds. And Sohan had 9 points. Trey Jones did not play in that game, as did not Sandro and Wamamu. Uh, they were out with injuries. So for those of y'all who are on Jersey Watch, the Spurs will be wearing their City Edition jerseys. It's another throwback jersey night. I know a lot of fans have mixed reviews on those. They don't like the browns. They don't like the yellows and the oranges. But I'll tell you this much, though. The last time I saw the Spurs fans uh, at the AT, at the, sorry, the Frost Bank Center, there was a sea of City Edition jerseys. So maybe you guys actually do like them after all. So what are we going to be watching out for tonight, Spurs Kings? So let's go down a few things that you need to keep an eye on. So just as much the Spurs are on a bad losing streak, the Kings are coming in red hot. They're in a four-game winning streak. Gets even worse for you, Spurs fans. They're on a three-game winning streak in San Antonio. History's not on the Spurs side tonight, uh, whether it's in San Antonio or just facing these Kings overall. They're, they're coming in red hot right now. And uh, again, Spurs have a tall task ahead of them tonight. Keep it on the halftime score. The Kings this season are undefeated. Whenever they are leading at halftime, that's home or away. They're 5-0. and So keep your eye on that scoreboard. Kings are also 6-0 and this season when they make more three-point shots than their opponents. That has been an issue for the Spurs this season, defending the three. We saw the Knicks uh, go off from the three line. We saw the Pacers really have a field day from the three line versus San Antonio. Kings are the same way. If they're connecting on their threes, they're likely going to win. Defense is going to be key for the Spurs team, especially perimeter defense. They're going to get up on their three-point shooters, shut them down, let them get into, at least get them at that mid-range shot. I'd rather give up that than three points. So keep an eye on that. If you see the Kings connecting on their threes early and often, that's not a good sign for your Spurs tonight. So for the Spurs, though, they have lost three games straight at the Frost Center. And that whole thing about maintaining leads, yeah, that's not on their side either. If they're up at the end of the third period this season at home, and, well, it's not good. It's not good. So if, let me let me just rewind there. So at halftime, if they're leading, they'll likely lose. I believe they're 0-3. If they're leading after the third period, they're 0-2. So they those leads just evaporate. doesn't matter if they're away or home, but if this is a home game, yeah, the Spurs cannot handle 
the lead. So they'll that's a defensive slip up. Those are the turnovers that pile up. That's just the mental effort of maintaining leads. So just because they're up at the halftime or up at the after the third, don't walk away thinking, oh, they got this. No, this season that's been their pattern. They tend to blow leads even at home. So speaking of turnovers, they got to watch that ball. Watch that ball. I'm not trying to be Debbie Downer here or raining your parade, but the Spurs are 0-6 this season when recording more turnovers than their opponents. Again, goes back to the hustle. Fine, the turnovers are part of the game. You're going to turn it over. That, that just happens. But get back on defense. Try to stop the transition points, those easy buckets. Okay? But if they're turning the ball over, again, that's not a good sign for your Spurs. 0-6 this season when they have more turnovers than their opponents. So hopefully the Spurs can right the wrongs and get back on the right track and kill this losing streak tonight versus the Kings. Coming up next, we have Dr. Ryan McCorkle. He is back, everybody. He's going to talk about all the recent injuries uh, from Trey Jones to Kelly Johnson, Jeremy Sohan, so much more, what they are, what was it. He's actually show you on camera where the injuries happened. So that's going to be coming up next right here on Locked On Spurs. This is Emily Swallow, and you are listening to Locked On Spurs with Jeff Garcia. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Look, I get it, it's the end of the year, it's the end of the season. You know, um, you look forward to the holidays. Maybe you struggle with seasonal blues. Yeah, it could be a tough time for some. This year can be a lot, and it's natural to feel some sadness or anxiety about it. But adding something new and positive to your life can counteract some of those feelings. Therapy can be a bright spot amid all of the stress and change, something to look forward to, to make you feel grounded, to give you the tools to manage everything that is going on. So if you benefit from therapy and you want to restart it or just curious about therapy, you want to give BetterHelp a try right now. So whether it's for you for personal reasons or you want to talk about things in a broader sense, Go to BetterHelp right now. It's for your own good. It'll help you learn positive coping skills, how to set boundaries, how to find the best version of yourself. So much. It's just all in one. It's all in one. It's BetterHelp. So like I said, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Find your bright spot this season with BetterHelp. BetterHelp.com. Go visit it right now. BetterHelp.com slash LockedOnNBA. Go there right now. Get 10% off your first month. BetterHelp.com slash LockedOnNBA. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash LockedOnNBA. I also want to talk to you about game time. Go to GameTime.co right now. Look, you don't have to worry about, you know, tickets when you want to go to your next or music event or theater or concert, whatever it is, you need a ticket, you want to go to gametime.co right now. It's the fast and easiest way to buy tickets for all sports, music, comedy, theater events near you. They got killer last minute deals, all in prices, view from receipts, the best price guarantee. Game Time takes the guesswork out of buying tickets. Again, you get flash deals, zone deals, easy to find and buy tickets for every kind of event in your area. You get views from your seat in the venue. The lowest price guarantee, event cancellation protection, job loss protection, game time has your back. Look, all in prices show your total upfront. So you know what you're getting a great deal without those hidden fees. Buy tickets in seconds with just two taps using the game time. Again, they have tickets right up to the start of the event, even hours after it starts. It's the place to find those last minute tickets. Download the Game Time app right now. Create an account. Use code LockedOnNBA for twenty dollars off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code LockedOnNBA. L O C K E D O N N B A for twenty dollars off. That's Game Time right now. Go get it. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Locked On has launched the first ever national sports twenty four seven streaming channel on YouTube. Locked On Sports Today is here for you twenty four seven, covering the top stories of the day with local experts of Locked On, plus national shows covering every league. Go to Locked On Sports Today on YouTube and subscribe to the first ever national sports twenty four seven streaming channel. Hey, this is Chris Sabat, and you're listening to Locked On Spurs with Jeff Garcia. And as promised, we're now joined by Dr. Ryan McCorkle. You see him on your screen there. He is on X at Austin ER Doc, looking like Clark Kent right now with those glasses on. I don't think I've ever seen you with glasses before. 
Well, you know, after LASIK, then I had to go to contacts, and today yeah. I'm, I'm wearing the glasses. He is Dr. Ryan McCorkle. He is with the St. David's Medical uh, Emergency Room Center in Austin and also with the Backstage Concierge Medical Practice. He'll talk about that shortly. And we're going to talk about the recent rash of Spurs injuries. Nothing major. They're fine. Nobody was out for an extended amount of time, although Vassell was out for a couple of games. But let's start off with there was a bunch of tightness, doctor, and a lot of strains and adductors. So for those of y'all who are new to the show, um, this will be obviously new for you. Last season, uh, Dr. Ryan did speak a lot about the adductor, and unfortunately, it's reared his head again. So we'll talk about that later on the show. But let's get all this tightness out of the way and everything. Let's start off with Trey Jones. Trey Jones was out for a game. Uh, I believe it happened here. He was out with right hamstring tightness. Uh, let's start off with that, doctor. Hamstring tightness. You talked to us, you educated us last year that uh, injury reports are not necessarily diagnostics. I think that's what you said, right? They're not the full breakdown of what's going on. But basically, what 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 does it mean by Trey Jones was out with right hamstring tightness? So I, I'm sure most of our audience, we've talked about it a lot, but like you said, for the new viewers, the hamstrings are these large muscle groups on the back of your leg, and they help you pull the leg back this direction. They're also really involved a lot of explosive movements like, like mm -hmm. jumping. Um, so tightness means that he hasn't strained it yet, um, there's no muscular damage, but it feels there's it doesn't feel quite right, and we're going to rest it so that we don't progress to a hamstring strain. Mm -hmm. Hamstring strains are pretty um, devastating for a for a basketball player because they have to sit for six weeks a lot of times, and um, they tend to recur uh, once they've happened once, unless you have an extended period of time out. So anytime they experience tightness, let's let's sit a game or two so that we can prevent having to sit out for six weeks. Right, right. And um, I know you taught taught us last year about the rice method, R I C E. But for those new viewers, what is the rice treatment? Uh, rest, ice, compression, elevation, non steroidal, anti inflammatory. Ricin, Ricin right. is the whole Ricin, uh, right. acronym mm -hmm. there. So R for rest, I for ice, C for compression, E for elevation, N for non-steroidal anti-inflammatories like ibuprofen, Tylenol. So, you know, obviously, you know, you, you, you would surmise or you would theorize that the Spurs medical staff probably did that with Trey Jones? Yes. A lot of okay. the Rysons, we talk about that with joint injuries, with knees mm -hmm. and things. With hamstring tightness, they're going to be doing a lot of stretching, probably a lot of heat and range of motion. Um to, to work that tightness out and working a lot on low back because a lot of times the hamstrings are tight because our low back is tight. Mm -hmm. So I imagine we talked a lot about last episode about doing yoga. So I'm sure he's going through massage, yoga, stretching, and heat so that that <laughs> tightness is contained and we don't progress to a strain. Is this true, doctor? I heard that for those of you that are, that are having like their leg days at the gym, that it's always good to warm up the hamstrings first versus the, the, the quads. Is that true? I mean, you want to do opposite muscle groups. It does, okay. does it matter which one you do first? Uh, I don't know that I have data, you know, to scientifically mm -hmm. say for sure one one yeah. versus the other. But your hamstrings, I mean, people tend to strain hamstrings a lot more than they strain quads. Mm -hmm. So imagine they're saying start with your hamstrings because that's where you need to spend the bulk of your time. Gotcha. That's the one that we strain all the time. Right. I, I mentioned that because I have a leg day today as soon as we're done recording here. So that's I did, I'm not saving leg day today. Okay. Well, the Trey Jones wasn't the only spur that had a uh, recent injury. Oh, well, by the way, good news is Trey Jones is back. So I don't say that was okay. Uh, up next, we have, I believe I have in my notes here, Keldon Johnson, right knee soreness. Uh, again, for those uh, returning viewers, doctor spoke about this last year, but this is for the new people as well. Right knee soreness. Again, we learned a lot last year with you, doctor. Can you explain to the new listeners and viewers what does that mean with a player like Keldon out with right knee soreness? So, yeah, we, we talked about before that um, soreness is a symptom. It's not a diagnosis. So the same with tightness. Tightness is a symptom. It's not a diagnosis. So we're not talking about that he has strained a, an MCL or mm -hmm. injured a meniscus or any of those kind of – those are diagnoses based on imaging – Right. Uh, physical exam, those kind of things. This is just, hey, I have soreness in my knee. I'm sure they looked at it structurally with maybe some type of imaging, maybe an MRI even, 
and say, hey, the, structurally it's fine, but it's sore, so it needs the ricin therapy. So mm -hmm. we need, and the R that we just talked about, rest. So that's mm -hmm. why maybe take a game or two off so that we don't progress to hurting a meniscus or hurting one of those key ligaments like the yeah. anterior cruciate, the posterior cruciate. You know, one, one common thread we have so far, at least in the first two in recent injuries for the Spurs, uh, a lot of leg stuff going here, going on here. Hamstring, Keldon Johnson with the right knee soreness. Um, that's just, I mean, just a little, I mean, maybe I shouldn't see too surprising, but, you know, considering the season is still very young, uh, does that worry you a little bit, you know, that they're really having some leg issues right now, some of the players, or no, that's just par for the course? Uh, par for the course, and it also okay. just gives him a chance to take a little bit of a break here in the early going when things <laughs> stakes are not as high. So mm -hmm. I think you're you're going to see. We've seen this, you know, with the Spurs before. It's it's mm -hmm. not. We, we don't like to use the league doesn't like to use the word word load management anymore. Right. Yeah. So you're going to have rotating tightness, soreness that is going to cause your your days off, and uh, yeah. that's probably good to do early on in the season. Yeah. Uh, and other uh, Spurs recent injury report, I'm not going to even try to attempt it because I'm, I'm horrible at it. I can say it in my head, but I can't say his last name out loud. We're going to go with a big man, Sandro Mamu. I'll just say Mamu. Uh, he was out uh, recently with, uh, I have here, mid-back tightness. Now, that's something we've never talked about even last year with you. This would be the first for us, I believe. I believe unless you, you obviously you'll correct me. But mid-back tightness. That's very specific, Dr. Yeah, I'm kind of. I think a lot of people have experienced that kind of in the in the 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 mid region, of the back, just below the shoulder blades. You'll mm -hmm. you'll tweak one of those muscles, and it's really really hard to turn. Even kind right. of hurts with the periscapular muscles in the mm -hmm. back. We're talking thoracic. You know, upper back would be more up towards the cervical. So you're talking uh, mid back is the the word is thoracic. So you have your mm -hmm. cervical spine, your thoracic spine, your lumbar spine. Yeah. Lumbar is low, thoracic's mid, cervical is up in your neck. So mm -hmm. somewhere in that thoracic um, area probably has a some muscle um, soreness and tightness. Again, yeah. you know, part of part of basketball, but it's really right. difficult when you have to make, especially a big man, you know, who's yeah. backing people down, taking a lot of contact in that back and doing a lot mm -hmm. of, you know, side to side spin movements that, that thoracic yeah. area is real, real hard to deal with if you have an injury. Maybe, maybe that was just a byproduct of him having to uh, defend and practice Wimby and Zach Collins in practice, just going at those two big guys, yep. you know, just constantly getting banged in the back. Uh, you, you know, one thing I don't think we ever touched on here on Lockdown Spurs with you is massage therapy. How would that factor in, whether it be for Trey or Keldon or whoever player, just an injury, uh, you know, and, and and that be part of the recovery process? Yeah, for sure. Especially when we're talking about that soreness and tightness, uh, the, the back, the hamstrings, when you don't have an injury and you're not, you know, kneading onto actual, you know, mm -hmm. injured tissue, uh, then it's real important. You're going to you're going to see a, um, almost every well, I'd say every NBA team employs a, a whole fleet of massage therapists. Mm -hmm. uh, we also use them a lot in backstage medical. A lot of the bands, especially the ones that yeah. move around yeah. a lot on stage, employ a massage therapist with daily massages. I think LeBron was one of the first ones who had his own and mm -hmm. would do sometimes twice a day. Wow. Uh, it works a lot for, helps a lot for working out that soreness and tightness and not having it um, progress on to an injury. He is Dr. Ryan McCorkle. Make sure to follow him on X at Austin ER Doc. When we get back, we're going to get into uh, a recurring thing, uh, injury that happened last year that uh, popped up once again, the adductor. A couple of players had injuries to that. We'll discuss that more right here on Locked on Spurs. I also want to talk to you about Price Picks. Price Picks is the daily fantasy sports platform in North America. That one is the largest. That's what Price Picks is. They are the easiest and fastest and the most exciting way to play DFS. It's just you versus the numbers. Instead of battling thousands of players, including pros and sharks, you pick more than or less than on two to six player stat projections, and you can watch the winnings roll in. Price picks is the most fun you will have. Uh, look, with the basketball season here, you can now pick combo projections across football and basketball from the Specials League, a league created specifically for combo projections that includes two or more players from different sports or leagues. So, for example, Jeremy Sohan and Travis Kelsey at a 10.5 combo of three-pointers made plus receptions. 
If you want to play along some of Price Picks' favorite players like rapper Meek Mill and comedian Andrew Schultz, you can now find community plays under the promos tab of the app to view entries from some of the biggest names in the Price Picks community each week. Price Picks even offers a reboot policy. So basically, your entry stay in play even if one of your players get injured for football and basketball games. If you have a player who exits the game in the first half and does not return to the second half, that player is rebooted. Price Picks is the only daily fantasy sports platform with injury insurance policy. Price Picks now offers Apple Pay for quick and easy deposit into your account this basketball season. Go to pricepicks.com slash LockedOnNBA and use code LockedOnNBA for a first deposit match up to $100. That's pricepicks.com slash locked on MBA. Use code locked on MBA for a first deposit match up to 100 bucks. Price picks daily fantasy sports made easy. I also want to talk to you about Muslinger's drive through coffee. Go to Muslinger San Antonio, 2404 Thousand Oaks Drive, open every day, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. They have a big menu from the Red Bull Infused Lightning Bolt series to the OG OJ to the alien in honor of victor Wimbayama, you name it they'll likely have it they have dairy alternatives the signature drink mudslinger they also have mini donuts they also have a drink in honor of utsa's frank harris called the sub zero look they are the place to go in san antonio for all your coffee and drink needs go there right now they're located in the 1604 281 area if you're in san antonio a proud local sponsor of locked on spurs the first ever as well and they love serving the san antonio community they are the go-to place for all your coffee needs they have uh, not only just the red bull infused lightning bolt series they have a, a drink menu that'll make your head spin they're so awesome go check them out friendly staff great uh on the social media you can find them at muslinger s-a-t-x on x threads instagram TikTok, facebook the list goes on and on they're very fan interactive trust me you'll want to give them a follow right now they have everything you want san antonio 2404 thousand oaks drive over 300 five-star reviews cannot be wrong Go there right now. Open every day, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Go check them out. Life is too short for bland coffee. Hey, everybody. This is Nathan Ray Clark from Criminal Minds and Modern Family, and you are listening to Locked On Spurs, hosted by Victor Wimbiana's new best friend, Jeff Garcia. And we're back right here at Locked On Spurs with Dr. Ryan McCorkle. Follow him on X at Austin ER Doc. He's a medical doctor out in Austin with the St. David's Medical Emergency Room, as well as Backstage medical concierge practice he'll talk about that shortly so doctor or should i say clark kent uh <laughs> um we talked a lot about this last year i'm getting my notes here because I, I texted you wanted to know the injury report uh the adductor and we had two players that had that sohan and devin was let's start off with devin we'll start off with with sohan but before we do that again what is the act adductor what is it where does that fall in the body part why is it so important well it's i guess it's nice now that we have more of a uh, a visual mm -hmm. medium here uh, yeah and let, let's auditory i can just kind of show you the way that we uh, remember it in medical school so when you have the midline a b ductors abductor muscles are the one that take the leg away from midline okay so adductors are the one that brings it back to the midline so when you can feel when you lift your leg out laterally, as you're pulling it back this way, mm -hmm. those are your adductor muscles that you're okay. using it, adding to the midline. Adding uh, to the midline, okay. Exactly. So okay. as you can imagine, when you're doing defensive slide and moving laterally, you're, you're using those adductors a ton. Right. So for a basketball player, that's one of those core muscles right. that when they're injured, it's mm -hmm. almost impossible to get down in defensive stance, defensive right. slide, or, or even make quick cuts that are lateral movements all right let's start off with the first player who uh, dealt with that and that is jeremy sohan he sat out recently with adductor tightness um basically what is that what happened to his adductor when it says it got tight same thing we were talking about with uh, the hamstring and the low back it just doesn't feel right when i'm making those movements i can feel discomfort uh, and that's how we differentiate between Sochan's injury and Vassell's <laughs> injury, right? One's a symptom. I have tightness in my adductor. One's a diagnosis. We have a sprain or a strain of the adductor, most likely from an MRI that's shown that there's actual uh, some damage to the muscle that's been that's been sprained, strained, and they gr they right. grade those based right. on uh, how severe it is uh, on mm -hmm. that MRI. 
Right. And, and again, you know, I'm assuming uh, the rice in treatment, uh, just sitting him out a, a game or two, uh, stuff like that. Just lessening the load on him, I, I suppose, with the tightness. Uh, the tightness, yeah. Yeah. Short term rest so we don't progress to a strain and see him mm -hmm. out an extended period of time like Vassell. Well, I'm glad you brought up Vassell. That's a good segue there because of all the players that recently dealt with some uh, injuries, Devin Vassell seemed to be the uh, big, the most worrisome, quote unquote. I know, Dr. Me, you'll calm everybody down. I'm pretty sure you will, but he had, uh, I believe, uh, an adductor sprain. That's different than tightening. That's a sprain. What does that mean? Yeah, just like we were saying, that's that's where we've gone from a symptom to a diagnosis. We've had done an MRI, seen there's some damage there to the muscle. It's mm -hmm. actually been strained or strained. It's a longer recovery period. Um, and a lot of times, especially this early in the season, you may take even longer because what you don't want to see is it become repetitive right where you sit out it gets better but you come back too soon re-injure it and that re-injury leads to you want the the smallest aggregate number of games missed that may mm -hmm. mean missing a few more on the front end so that we don't miss more in total what 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 would cause that type of injury you know is that just simply the defense of sliding maybe overextend it or maybe you know got hit with some force you know that the, the, it seems to be like a kind of a odd you know like a place to get hit you know like say you're going to the rim or something you get whacked you know your adductor you know uh is that just again just wear and tear of an nba season um more from some kind of movement so we okay. have different medical terms so if you get hit in it you call it a contusion <laughs> uh, that that means there was actual you know trauma you were you were yeah. hit in it the sprain strain means it was from a movement okay. so just just a quick sudden movement and you know, you just same with when somebody strains a hamstring. They you just be doing your normal basketball movements and just a, a quick sudden movement causes that thing to strain. That's why yeah. the the yoga, the stretching and all that is so important beforehand because once you do it, it is three to six weeks to recover from it. Yes. Well unfortunately for the Spurs, Devin Vassell was not out that long and uh he, it looks like he is back it's, when they, they did bring him back i did notice they did limit his minutes so he didn't play a full full game now maybe that was just because the spurs were getting clubbed in the head in that game but hey you know at least there was that benefit you know if the spurs are getting stomped you know at least they were to take him out and let him rest a little more than actually putting uh you know more strain on that injury he came back from uh but doctor speaking of the losing streak uh the spurs will play the kings tonight uh you know can you talk about the mental stress of just what they might be going through in a long losing skid as we're seeing. And it's not just losing skid. It'd be different if they were at least competitive. They're coming out saying, okay, we're there. We're right there. Just a few more things. They're getting walloped. They're getting curb stomped. Yeah. We unfortunately we've had this, uh, this conversation a yeah. few times over the last few years about the mental strain that repetitive losing can, mm -hmm. can have on a team. Um, I think it's something that the Spurs organization and, and pop in particular have become yeah very good at, at um, addressing that psychology mm -hmm. and not not succumbing to a, uh, a culture of a losing mentality or yeah. accepting it and looking for those small incremental improvements um, that eventually will lead to wins. But in the short term, understanding that we're working on these things, yeah. the Sochan experiment yeah. at point guard, you know, the the um, the things that are painful now that will lead to to uh, long-term success, uh, mm -hmm. but having to deal with the short-term failures in the meantime. Yeah, you, you saw a big difference because uh, in the, one of the games that they uh, you know were fighting to the bitter end and they lost. I was at that post-game conference and they were pretty much in good spirits, saying like, "We hey, we hung in there to the bitter end, you know, and we almost pulled it out." So if it's Devin Vassell with smiles, Pop was in a good mood. Everybody's talking about that growth, but then you saw what happened versus Oklahoma City and Indiana and New York, and you're just getting pummeled. And you can see that that positive spirit, even in a loss, as we saw recently, you know, it's just gone, just done. So hopefully the Spurs could snap. Hopefully they will snap their losing skid tonight versus the Kings. A big task, though. Kings are not the Kings of back in the day when you and I were growing up. Uh, Doctor, this is a whole different very good team. So good luck to the Spurs. He is Dr. Ryan McCorkle. Make sure to follow him on X at Austin ER Doc. Uh, tell us what's going on with Backstage and uh, what, what you know. how can people help you in that department and go support you and Backstage. 
We, you, you can also find me on uh, Instagram at austinem.com uh, or austinemdoc. That's a that's mm-hmm. a good place to, to follow and see a lot of a lot of the stuff we do with Backstage Medical there. Uh, artists that come through um, Austin at the the shows, they uh, they call us and we go and uh, help keep them functional and, and doing what they do, just like the the Spurs training staff, keep those musicians mm-hmm. on stage feeling good, throat in good shape. Um, and we also do. Um, uh, some select uh, concierge um, care for for people uh, mm-hmm. if we can help them out in their homes or or via nice. telemedicine that kind of thing. And then uh, yeah. I'm here working at Austin Emergency Center today, and I also work over at St. David's Medical Center doing bread and butter emergency medicine with your strokes, heart attacks, gunshots, um, all that you know. <laughs> gunshots. He says <laughs> that's that's emergency medicine. Yeah. It's never never a dull moment. The other stuff kind of gives me a break that stress but uh it's yeah. good to keep these skills up that's what i went to school for yeah absolutely yeah and by the way uh, doctor gave me some uh good advice he said going to a live show is good for the soul because uh, although doctor it was a nerd fest though i'm letting you know now and i told you i was going to go see that transformer cosplay concert it was nerd but, fest but you're right it was good for the soul though music is a communal experience it's a uh, we experience it a lot just in our headphones one-on-one it is a different vibe when you can be yeah. amongst like-minded people other nerds nerding out at your nerd fest it's still it's <laughs> that communal experience that we all miss during covid and having live music yeah. back yeah. is just uh like you said it's food for the soul uh, it's Austin's the live music capital of the world and uh there's nothing like it absolutely and again oh, you want to check out his instagram uh, page as well because that's where he posts a lot of his sneakers he's a big uh, sneaker fan uh, he's always sharing his newest like what are, what are those what, what are those today these are these are the uh, Kobe six nice. so my my kids and I have our uh, holiday traditions of we go to the elf party at the Alamo draft house and we have a Grinch party with my uh, my extended family and we dress up for it so I have the full buddy the elf outfit and I have my full Grinch outfit so I had to get the shoes to go with them so these are the Kobe Grinches Look at that. Yeah, making me jealous, which I had that kind of collection that Doctor has. Hey, we thank you for making Lockdown Sports your first listen each and every day. Free and available wherever you get podcasts, YouTube, Cans My Plus app, Spotify. The list goes on and on. And uh, don't forget to check out the Lockdown NBA 24-7 show on YouTube. Yes, it's available right now. Go subscribe to it. All the regional uh, sports from the Lockdown segment to all the individual teams from the Lockdown NBA, NFL, MLB. Pick a, sh- a sport. We are there. It's on YouTube, Locked On Sports Today on YouTube. Go subscribe right now. So for Dr. Ryan McCorkle, I am Jeff Garcia. We're going to put a lock on this episode of Locked On Spurs. Mm-hmm.